Welcome back. Texas Governor Greg Abbott's office says that the uh, floating border barriers in the Rio Grande are not responsible for the recent death of an illegal migrant. Uh, Mexico is trying to link the buoys to the drowning after finding the body stuck in the barriers. Abbott's spokesperson says, quote, the Mexican government is flat out wrong. Preliminary information points to the drowning occurring before the body was even near the barriers. The Justice Department is suing Texas over these buoys. Krisha, your thoughts on these buoys. Uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has been trying to do anything he can to stop all of the illegals from going into his state. Yes, exactly. And that's precisely why um, the Mexican government is saying that this is Texas's fault, because Texas is actually taking a stand um, where Joe Biden and his administration has not. And it is not surprising that they're pointing fingers again, because that's what uh, people who are trying to obscure the truth try to do. But in this case, we've been seeing, I mean, under this administration, we've seen, as you know, over seven million people come across our border um, since Joe Biden has been in office. We've had over 200 people on the terror watch list that we know of cross our border, not to mention the fentanyl. Human trafficking is an epidemic at this point. So the fact that Governor Abbott is trying to do anything in his power to stop this, kudos to him. And unfortunately, yes, uh, deaths um, have, have resulted because of Joe Biden's policies with our border and just allowing people to come across um, recklessly at this point. Well, I mean, look, we've seen lots of people drown in the Rio Grande in their journey uh, into America. This is not the first time. And we saw that happen even before these buoys were in place. Right. So we'll see if he can actually prove that. A, a Texas law enforcement drone, meanwhile, caught these images of a human smuggler carrying a long gun. He was guiding a group of illegal migrants across the Rio Grande before returning to Mexico. And we see it all on camera from these uh, drones. Kelly. Well, I think it just underscores the point of how bold uh, these smugglers are, and, and they just know that there are no consequences. I mean, we've both, Maria, you and I spent time at the border. Uh, during my live shots on your program, I've had people just hopping over the wall. Uh, Border Patrol was with an eyesight. And so it's not surprising to me that now you have people are, who are armed as they continue across that river. Well, these drug cartels are incredibly dangerous and they have uh, equipment that is equal to the military of Mexico, I'm told, John. I mean, th this is who you're dealing with. They're taking home billions of dollars, not just from their, you know, human trafficking, uh, but the drug trafficking as well. Yeah, why have border patrols? I mean, this is a, the real crime here is a dereliction of duty on the part of the Biden administration. There's no escaping that. You know, how dare they claim that they're upholding the law? I mean, it, this is, a, you know, a starting point for this disrespect for the law that has become so widespread in the United States. If the Biden administration doesn't care, why should I care as a common shoplifter? or a common criminal. Well, I mean, look at New York and the lines of migrants in New York City. This has become a much bigger, uh, impactful story than just in Texas at the border. You've got the gotaways that we know of, uh, the ones we know of more than a million, um, apparently going to Tucson uh, as the first stop. Uh, and then you've got all the drugs coming in. So, you know, you look at what's happening at the border. You don't have to go to Texas or Arizona to understand. All you have to do is look in your own city. They're being bussed to big cities. Yeah, it's a way of, I guess, of putting downward pressure at wages at the same time, isn't it? Mm. You have to ask yourself, since we have these labor shortages and these low-paying occupations, why aren't these individuals <laughs> being put to work? I can't figure it out. Yeah, well, we're going to keep a spotlight on it for sure. I want to thank you, Chris Lenzo, for being with us this morning. We are about 10 minutes away from the economic data. Chris, we will see you soon. Thanks for being here.